My name's Paul Probst. I'm the uh, present CEO of Jordy Cainted Incorporated, the inventor of the blind site and the uh, uh, primary designer for most of the units. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to measure a harness for your dog for a blind sight unit. Now, this is exactly the same whether you're measuring for a Charlie, which is our smallest unit for a small dog like this, or whether you're measuring for an 80 or 90 or 100 plus pound dog, measuring the harness is exactly the same. The harness, the measurement we need is the chest measurement behind legs. And uh, we're gonna break for a minute so the camera can come in closer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so here's, here we are all set up to do this. I've got the camera moved so you can see this. We're going to be using sort of a simulated tape. We're going to be using the back end of a leash. Uh, as, as it turns out that the when I asked for a tape, I was got a met, uh, metal measuring tape, and I should have specified a seamstress or tailor's tape. Anyway, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. We want this chest measurement right in back of the legs. We want it right here, not back here and not in the middle. We want it right here, okay, and... We want it snug, but not tight. We don't want to torque down on the dog like that, and we don't want it floppy loose. We want it to get it around the dog until it just touches, and that's the measurement we want. Now, there's a fair amount of measurement in the larger harnesses, but I'm going to show you why that's uh, really very important. This is a blind sight Charlie mounted on the kind of harnesses that the Charlie's mounted on. All right, The larger units are mounted on... Uh, a type of harness that you could buy many places. It's, it's simply called an adjustable pulling harness. There's a lot of names for it, but it's a type of dog harness that has a little Y yoke in the front, right? And one or two straps in the back that go around the belly. Here's why we need some precision. If you look at this one, this one does not have the big adjustments on the belly strap and no adjustments at all in the front, okay? Uh, to make this very lightweight for the Charlie, um, we had to give that up, which means this is all the adjustment room you have on the harness for a Charlie. Okay, that means we need to have this measurement pretty exact so that you have this as the dog, you put clothing on the dog, the dog gains or loses weight, you have uh, some adjustment left, all right? Um, uh, uh, that That's why that needs to be accurate. Now, it's not so quite uh, important when you get dogs that are going to get an S2 or a B. If you're off by half an inch or an inch, the harness is going to adjust for that. This one, if you're off very much, it may be that, because we're going to send it to you mounted on a harness just like this, uh, what's liable to end up happening is um, uh, if you're too far off on this, we'll have to send you another harness, or you'll have to send it back so we can mount it on a, you know, on a different size harness. Uh, these harnesses, by the way, are from Scott Pat in Rockville, Indiana. Uh, they're made for us there, and and uh, they are all the same, and they're all blue. We have, we get that that get that uh, question from time to time. The adjustable harnesses we have more than one color, but for the Charlie, uh, we have blue or orange for the unit itself. All the harnesses are blue. Anyway. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Have a pleasant day.